Segura, I'm Jimmy Smith, I'm the Director General of ILRI. My background is Caribbean and Canadian, but somewhere in my an ancestry I must have roots in Africa. I had not been to Africa until I was invited for an interview to come to work for the predecessor of ILRI, an organization by the name of ILCA, the International Livestock Center for Africa. Part of the process was when I came to go on a field trip. The position was to lead ILRI's humid forest program. And so prior to the interview, I was taken on a field trip. This is in Oyo State in Nigeria, April 1991. We had gone to Ilka's field station. It required a journey of about 30 minutes off-road, a trail that meandered for some distance. And having done the field trip, we were now on our way back. Halfway back, sweeping around one of those turns on this tiny road suitable for one vehicle only, I saw for the first time something that I had never seen in my lifetime before. We came upon a woman with a baby in a pouch on her back, a huge basket balancing on her head, must have been filled with peppers or tomatoes, covered with, with straw. In her hand was a fairly used, worn hoe, and in the other, was a long piece of firewood. We came upon this lady at an inopportune moment, sweeping wrong turn. She was surprised by us. And as we passed by, I, she never made contact, eye contact with us, but I kept looking at this woman because I, had, I couldn't imagine that she could be carrying all this on this long road. Maybe she's going to be walking for the next hour or more because we had seen no dwellings in, in, in the vicinity close by. It is at that time that I started to reflect on the role of this woman and continued for some time to compare and contrast my upbringing, my experiences, and my relationships with my mother and other women who I know worked in rural life or in agriculture and so on. It dawned on me that not only this woman was personifying, personifying agricultural production in what she was doing, she's coming from a farm. But she was in fact obviously marketing some of the process because she had this basket of produce on her head. But in addition, she was taking care of the traditional roles that up until then I was accustomed to, caring for the baby and so on. This other kinds of stuff about these huge baskets probably intended for market and the hoeing and all this is, was completely surprising to me. So it reflected in my mind then um, um, that the role of women more broadly, not just this woman, although this woman's circumstances were of course um, linked to more poverty than I had seen, but indeed, if I thought about my own mother or women who I knew in agriculture, it was much the same thing. They took care of the household. They had to prepare the meals, take care of the children, but also contributed to their economic circumstances. That, of course, had a huge impact in how I thought about this in the future. Um, and how I did my job in, in, in the future. Um, we refer to the change from hunter-gathering, 
prehistoric times to current day agriculture of sedentary farming. And we regard these moments as great, this transition as a great success. I don't think we've ever really reflected in honesty what it meant for the role of women in this huge trans transition for human beings. It did add a lot. It reduced the role of the man who was mostly the hunter-gatherer and put the burden of production uh, largely on the woman. And so in future jobs that I have had, not only in the organization which I joined and spent seven years with um, working in Canadian Development Agency and the World Bank, this issue have been central to me. When I interviewed for this current position, I did say that I wanted to make a really preeminent uh, CG institution working on the role of women and gender issues in, in our business. I think we've made some progress. Um, we're not there yet, and so I hope that the progress we're making will be steady. We continue to make this progress, and that um, in the not too distant future, we will be clearly an outstanding institute working in this area. Um, and it's not only with respect to gender in research and development, but gender in the workplace as well. So thank you for the opportunity sharing this. I haven't done so many times outside my close reports.